what is up guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is the ghost hacker and this is actually my first video on this channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up mcp actually because um on this channel i'm going to be doing a lot of coding and stuff like that and what not better place to start with minecraft because everyone loves minecraft um, so I'm going to be showing you how to set up MCP so you can code your own Minecraft client and we shall get started right now. Alright, so you're going to need to download a few things and number one being Eclipse because Eclipse is an IDE that you use to edit the code if you guys did not already know that. So you're going to have to download it for your 32-bit or 64-bit. You should probably already know what your computer is. Mine's 64 bit, so I'm gonna click that. Now you'll go to this page and it will show this right here. You just click that. It will ask you to donate, but you don't have to, don't worry about it. Alright, once that starts downloading, go over to this other website, and this will all be linked in the description, so don't worry about it. Now you need MCP, MCP is short for Minecraft Code Pack. So just click this big green button, I'm sure you guys have been to this website before, and that will start downloading too. Now when we wait for that to download, that might take a couple seconds to download. Now Eclipse might take a little bit longer, but that's okay, don't don't worry about it. So we'll just wait for this to download because it's almost done. And any second now. Alright, so here we are, we got our MCP. Now just go to your desktop, right click new and make a folder now name this um whatever you want i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna name mine youtube client all right so there we go you can name that whatever you want though it don't really matter at all all right go into here and um just highlight all the folders and stuff in here make sure you get every single one because we need all of them and just drag it into this folder right here by the way guys, oh I'll put this over here so you can see this. Um, by the way guys, if um, if you cannot open this file, that probably means you do not got 7-zip or WinRAR. So I'll link 7-zip I'll link, um, in the description for you because you're going to need that if you don't already have it. Alright, so you can close out of this now, you don't need it. You can minimize that, you don't need it right now. Now you will still have the zipped folder. Oh, sorry. The zip folder, this one right here. You don't need that, you can just delete it. Um, by the way guys, if you're wondering where I just got that from, I have more than one monitor, so... Don't worry, I'm not doing anything magic. Um, here's the Eclipse, it's still not done downloading, so I will, um... I will just cut, or I'll pause the video, and when it's done downloading... Actually, never mind, I can show you how to decompile the client when, um... We're waiting for that. Alright, so press Windows and R on your keyboard. So just win hold down the Windows key and press R one time. That will bring up this box right here. Now in there you just type percent A P P D A T A percent. And that will open up your folder or well your Roman folder and we need to open up the dot Minecraft one. Alright, so there's a few things that we're gonna want in here. Number one is going to be this launcher.jar. So just copy and paste that onto your desktop. There we go, we got that. We're going to need that in a little bit. And now we're going to need the 1.7.2 jar. So open up the versions folder, go to 1.7.2, and you're going to get these two. Copy, paste. Okay, now you can close out of this, you don't need it no more. So goodbye. Now reopen your your MCP, so I need my YouTube client, I'm going to call it that, so yeah. So open up your YouTube client, or whatever you named it, and put your launcher.jar right in here. Don't put it in any of the folders, make sure it's just like out in here, like you know. You know if we just refresh this, it should be like near the middle of the page, because it's in alphabetical order, so it should be right here, okay? Make sure it's not in the folders, because it will not work if it is. Okay, open up the jars folder right here. Open that up, you'll see these two files. It's okay, leave them there. Now drag these two into there. Okay, there we go, that's that's perfect. So, 
I'll just tell you guys one more time because this this is where a lot of people screw it up. Put your launcher.jar in here with not in the other folders, just in the main part. And then put the two jar files or the jar and JSON or whatever, however you pronounce that, um, in here in the jars folder. With these, it's fine. You can leave it with those. Alright. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. It's not that hard. Now, we're going to open up this little folder. Not folder. This, this little um, batch file right here. It's called decompile.bat. You may not have the .bat. It's just a setting on your computer. So, don't don't worry about it if you don't got it. Just double click it. Oops. I clicked the wrong one. Double click this one. Click run. And that should bring up this window right here. I just opened up my other monitor, so don't not worry. I'm not doing nothing to, you know, do anything. Like, I'm not tricking you guys. I promise this works. All right, so that will open up this. And you're just going to wait for that to decompile. That might take a little bit. So just be patient. You can close out of this window now. You do not need it. And your, your um, what's it called? Where is it? Your eclipse should be done. So just open that, double click it, you'll see the Eclipse folder, drag that out onto your desktop. Now that will take some time to load too. So just, you're going to have to be patient because this stuff will take a little while to load. And I will cut and you guys can see that, or well you guys can see when it's done. So I will be right back. Alright guys, so now I am back and as you can see, the other window just disappeared because when it's done, it'll just disappear. Don't worry about that. It's okay if it disappears. Now, over here in the black box, it says um, press any key to continue. That means it is 100% done and you will see all this stuff show up. Don't worry, that's perfectly fine and that's 100% normal. Alright, so just press any key to continue or close. Now, we should be left with these folders. You can delete th this one because you don't need it anymore. You already extracted it. Now we got these two right here. Alright, so that's pretty much done. That's all we have to do. All, all I'm going to do now is show you how to set it, turn it on and like, you know, open up everything. Alright, so just open your Eclipse folder. Click the um, Eclipse.exe. Run. Now, of course, that opened up on my other monitors, so I can't move it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to fix that, so... But just a second, this will show up, this little box will pop up, just click browse, and then just look in your, on your desktop, you should see YouTube client somewhere, or whatever your name choice, and then expand that with the little arrow, and click Eclipse, click OK, and then click OK again. Now that will open up the actual thing, it just has like a little, like, I'll put a picture of what I'm seeing right now on screen right now. It's just like a little window that just loads. Alright, so once it's done loading, you will see this right here. And congratulations, congratulations guys, you are done. And you can start editing, editing the client right now if you already know how to. And if you don't know how to, don't worry, just stay tuned. I'll teach you everything you need to know pretty much. Alright, so this does work, I promise you, and I'm going to do something really fast just to show you that it works. So, um, one second. Alright, I'm just going to edit something really fast just to show you that it does work. Um, I'll do... I cannot type apparently, well not very fast at least. Alright. I'm going to change this to... Alright, there we go. Um, now I'm sorry, just, I'm just gonna say this real fast. I'm sorry if I pronounced any words wrong or scrambled them up a little bit. It's just cause it's like currently almost 4am and I haven't gone to bed yet. So I'm a little bit tired, but I mean, you know, I'm sorry that did open up on the other monitor. I'll fix that by next episode, but I promise you guys, I'm not messing around. This is all legit. I could just, oh, music. Okay, shut that off. I'll show you guys that I'm not messing around. I promise it does work, so I'll just put, um, I'll add a few more eyes on that, on my name, just for fun. Alright, and now as you can see, that did change instantly. That's because I'm in debug mode. So I promise you guys, it is 100% working. I'm not messing with you guys. 
and um, just stay tuned I will teach you more about this and I will teach you how to make your own client I can teach you how to make fly hacks and x-ray and climb and all that stuff um, so you can put your su suggestions in the comments or anything like that so if you have any concerns or need help or something didn't work for you put in the comments I can help you out and um, you can put anything down there it don't really matter just put whatever you want in the comments and please use the like and dislike button appropriately so if you like the video click like and if you did not like the video please click dislike and um, if you want to see more and learn how to code more of Minecraft clients you can go ahead and subscribe and until next time guys I hope you guys have a great day bye bye guys thank you very much for watching